years, I had my mind fixated on the idea that I was too cool to embrace my Mexican culture, which, looking back, is really stupid because I couldn't speak proper English until I was thrown into a classroom that forced me to speak nothing else. Don't you tell me that cities like Tucson and Albuquerque and El Paso, El Paso are free of racism. I do not live in Tucson where El Orgullo de la Raza burns like the desert Woo! sun, where the streets harbor and Samia Coyotes trying to balance two cultures. I live in a small town named after a white man who was good to his brown workers, Douglas. Sure, the climate is slightly cooler than that, and the landscaping is not quite that of a desert. But my house is a five minute walk from the Mexican border where you'll see me once a week grabbing sushi, a bag of chips, and a coca light for Gandalf. Damn! <laughs> Thinking back, how did I become too cool to embrace my blood when I grew up eating sabritas con salsita en grande tanto San Andres, muerto canta on las maquinitas? No. Or Sonic and Mario Kart and then Nintendo. I mean, really, it's nothing bad if you don't know what they're saying. As a child, a handful of monedas, two pesos to be exact, trompos, canicas, y tazos edición especial Pokemon were all I needed to be happy. Well, that is some toronjas from Nana Eddie Street over an episode of Dragon Ball Z. However, when I was in first grade, I was tested into having an IQ of 136, and I was put into the gifted program. Then, somewhere down the line, knowing English and all about stupid American pop culture made me feel smart. A dangerous feeling. Ironic, considering just a few years ago, I couldn't speak proper English. Ironic, because mi mamá dejó su tierra para que yo la, para no para que yo la olvidara. In third grade, we covered a poetry unit on Latino poets, and I could just not relate. However, I could relate to German expressionism. I could relate to Russian literature and I could relate to Japanese haiku. But how could that be if I never rubbed dirt off my bloody knees in Germany, and I was never given a bath with garden hose in Russia, and I never rode a burro in Japan? <laughs> now, I'm glad to say that my tough exterior has been penetrated by a passion like no other, because a lot of times, el orgullo is all we have. That pride exhibited around me has been a refreshing reminder of who I am. <laughs>